Dear class, today we're going to finish reading A Visit to Italy. Before we do, let's take a glance back again at one of the important sections in the back of the nonfiction text here, called the glossary, where the bold words throughout the book are defined in ABC order. Okay, now let's finish reading, and as we go along, we'll look at different headings or captions here as well. As you can see, here's the first heading called Transportation. Italy has good roads and toll motorways. It also has a very good train service. The, there are ports and airports too. Many young people ride scooters. Those are scooters, so sometimes you'll see the word defined in the picture. But toll, let's go back to the glossary and see what toll says. It's a payment you have to make in some places for driving on the motorway. We have tolls here in America on different highways. Okay, boats called gondolas are an unusual way to get from place to place. People use them to get around the city of Venice, which has canals instead of streets. You can even see sort of a canal there in the picture, and we'll go back to canal, a river dug by people. Language. Italy's official language is Italian, but different regions have their own dialect. The words in Italian are based on an old language called Latin. Dialect, let's go back to the glossary here. Dialect is language spoken by people in one area. When I lived in China, there are two main kinds of Chinese, Mandarin and Cantonese. When I lived in China, though, I learned that there are over 50 kinds of dialects of Chinese, of Mandarin alone. The other main language is Sardinian. Sardinian. This is spoken by people on the island of Sardinia. Sardinian people also have special clothes for festivals. School. Primary school is for 6 to 11 year olds. School starts at 8.30 in the morning and finishes at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Pupils go to school six days a week. Middle school is for 11 to 14 year olds. The school day in middle school is longer and pupils usually have sports after school hours. Some pupils go to high school. Free time. Most Italians love soccer. People of all ages talk about it and play it. There are big matches on Sunday afternoons. In the early evening, it is usual for people to meet up and walk around the main square or street in their town. Walking around the square is called Passagiata. Oh, looks like some Italian there. Celebrations. Every town in Italy has at least one festival. People take the day off work or school to watch a procession through the town. You can see that's kind of a procession. Procession is defined back here as a group of people walking along behind each other and often wearing costumes. Again, you can always pause if you need to look at words, definitions, or pages we're going through. The horse race in Siena is called the Palio. On June two, on, sorry, on July 2nd and August 16, there is a bareback horse race in Siena. Before the race, people parade around the main square in costumes. Okay. And the last two pages here. The arts. Italy has many opera singers, and many Italians enjoy opera. Some of the operas take place in the stadiums built by the ancient Romans. There are shows of puppets on strings as well as hand puppets. Puppet shows started in Italy hundreds of years ago. Today, puppet shows are still very popular in Sicily. And that is the end of A Visit to Italy. Hope you learned something about the country, and I hope you're curious to learn more about it.